All right, now it's time to deal with the locked cottage. Let's open that passage. And we're going to deal with this line right here. The door is locked shut. We only want that to be true if the player hasn't gotten the key yet. Otherwise, they're going to be able to then go to a new link, allowing them to enter inside. So let's drop this down and create a new if statement. If has key is false, the door will be shut. Otherwise, we'll say else, create an extra space there, and allow the player to use the key to open the door. But we're going to turn this door into a new passage, so we will call new passage inside. And then, of course, we need to close the statement. And if we close this passage now, a new passage is opened up, which we will say inside the cottage. All right, let's test this real quick. We'll take the shovel. But first, let's go down south and south. Outside of the cottage, the door is locked shut. Okay, we need to go north, north, west, west. Hit the man with the shovel, take his key. Let's go south. South, east, east, and now, instead of saying the door is locked shut, it says use the key to open the door. And when we do, we're inside the cottage. So now we need to open up the inside passage, and here we're going to add some text. Paste in, the musty interior is cluttered and unkempt. You see a switch to open the main gates. Once again, we're going to use a link replace macro and say flip the switch. Our punctuation right on that. And then we're going to add in the text. Paste this in for the big reveal. As you reach for the switch, you notice movement to your right. As you look, you see a horrible, shambling figure staring at you. You start in fright before realizing you are looking at a mirror. And then add the final bit. Fresh horror grips you at the revelation of what you are, and you flee the cottage. I want to turn this into a link back outside the cottage, so... We'll do... Like so. And then, of course, we have to close the link replace. And let's close this. And we can see the arrows are pointing both ways, which means we now have created that connection properly. Let's go ahead and play. Take the shovel. Go west. Go west. Knock him out. Take the key. South. South. East. East. We open the door. And we flip the switch. As you reach for the switch, there's movement to your right. Fresh horror grips you, and you flee the cottage. And we're out. Now, we don't want to go back in. It's too horrible. We know the truth of what we are, and why we woke up in a crypt. So now we have to go in and make conditionals so that instead of saying, the key is open, you can go in the door, we now want it to say, the door is shut, you don't want to go back in. So for this, we need to come in here and create yet another new variable. So let's copy this one, paste it, and this one is going to be called flip switch. So let's go back inside the cottage. And right before the end here, right before the closing of the link replace, we want to say set flip switch, make sure you spell things correctly, to true. Now we need to come back out into the cottage, and using sort of the reverse logic of the grave digger, we're going to want to put this conditional first. So create a space here, and we will say if flip switch is true, then we want to say, paste that in, you refuse to enter the cottage. And because this is part of the same if statement, we now, instead of saying if has key, we want to say else if has key. So if you haven't already flipped the switch, It'll check to see whether or not you've got the key. If you don't, the way is shut. Otherwise, you can open the door 
and then once inside, the only way out will be to flip the switch, so this will be true and you can't re-enter. Let's make sure that happens. Okay, let's grab the shovel. Let's quickly go south just to make sure that the door is locked. It is. Let's go west. West. North. North. There's the grave digger. Hit him with the shovel. Take his key. Head east. Ah, let's go south by the crypt. Uh-oh. Well, you see here that it says rushing outside. The crypt door slammed shut. This thing shouldn't be here, but it is because we started the game in the graves instead of in the crypt like we should have, so that condition of setting the start variable didn't change. So if you see this, don't worry too much. Let's keep going uh, east and then south. Okay, now we can go inside the door. We can flip the switch. Everything is horrible. We flee. And now we refuse to re-enter the cottage. We can't go back in. Excellent. So the only thing left now is to take the key to the cemetery gate and set up an end game so the player can leave. And we'll do that in the next episode.